A warm welcome to 84 TV Radio News Update coming to you from Abuja, Nigeria's capital city. I am Jessica Ochai. European Union leaders rose from an EU summit Thursday in Brussels with a unanimously rejection of economic sanctions on Turkey. In a joint statement, the leaders, however, criticized Ankara's energy exploration activities in the eastern Mediterranean. Notwithstanding, the EU Council on Building decided against sanctions on the Middle Eastern country. The leaders further said the offer for a positive EU-Turkey agenda remains on the table, provided Turkey shows readiness to promote a genuine partnership with the Union and its member states. The summit also stressed the need to resolve differences through dialogue and in accordance with international law. Meanwhile, the two drug makers, GlaxoSmithKline and Sanofi, said Friday that their potential COVID-19 vaccine won't be ready until late next year. The period is to allow for improvement in the vaccine's effectiveness in older people. The companies explained that early trials showed that the vaccine produced an insufficient immune response in older adults, demonstrating the need to refine the product so it protects people of all ages. The London-based GSK and Paris-based Sanofi now expect the vaccine to be available in the fourth quarter of 2021. In Nigeria, the National Human Rights Commission, NHRC, has called for a stop to all forms of discrimination, inequalities, and human rights abuses. The commission's stance comes as projection into a post-COVID-19 recovery effort towards achieving the Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs. Executive Secretary of the Commission, Tony Ojuku, made the call in commemoration of the International Human Rights Day, observed 10th of December yearly. He reiterated that equality and non-discrimination are core requirements for post-COVID-19 recoveries, adding that the crisis generated by the pandemic was fueled by deep poverty, rising inequalities, structural and entrenched discrimination, all of which are part of the gaps in human rights protection. We must end sexual and gender-based violence and create an environment where every segment of society, especially women, boys and girls, have ample opportunity to realize their full potential in dignity and contribute equally to national development. We must uphold the rule of law and justice and create an egalitarian society where there is respect for the judiciary and law enforcement agents must abhor brutality and impunity and become agents for protection rather than repression of citizens and their rights. We must grow and promote responsible leadership that is built on sacrifice for national development and focused on sustainable and enduring legal policy and legislative reforms. As we celebrate the 2020 International Human Rights Day, the Commission enjoins all stakeholders to make concerted efforts to join the rest of the world in doing the following. We must end discrimination of any kind. We must end structural discrimination, ethnicity, nepotism, hatred, and intolerance which have fueled the COVID-19 crisis. We take a break now when we return. Nigeria on verge of second wave. Stay with us. Details coming up shortly. AD4 TV Radio, we focus on education with emphasis on research and innovation, science and technology, women and girl child education, children, health, youth and sports, socio-political and economic reforms, security, environment, entrepreneurship and entertainment. We we'll give you information at your fingertips. Learn on the go. Follow AD4 TV Radio on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram and YouTube. AD4 TV Radio, reliable and credible. We love you, AD4 TV Radio. Welcome back. The presidential tax force on COVID-19 is warning that Nigeria may be on the verge of a second wave of COVID-19 pandemic, with the daily increase in number of cases. Minister of Health Osage Ehanere, speaking at the presidential tax force daily briefing, said the country is witnessing an increase in the number of confirmed COVID-19 cases in recent times. Ehanere noted that the increase in infections is traceable to rising community transmission to a large extent, but also to a less extent from travelers entering Nigeria are also responsible for the spike disclosing that the tax force on COVID-19 has recorded 87 positive cases 
arriving to the country, as against 59 the previous week. We may well be at the verge of that second wave of this pandemic. Last week, we recorded uh, 1,843 uh, uh, cases as against 1,235 two weeks before and 1,126 the, the week before that. And in the past 24 hours, we have had 474 confirmed cases and two fatalities with an indication that this week's figures will be, will be higher than last week's. This number is small compared to the total number, but can increase as the volume of travelers rises, especially as people return home for Christmas and New Year holidays. To ensure that we further contain imported cases, port health officers at points of entry have been directed to be vigilant and diligent in screening travelers arriving the country, especially from high burden countries. While we strive for the best, we must prepare for the possible second wave, which we must ensure does not get to be worse than what we have seen so far, judging from what we observe in other countries. On economy, Cuba is taking action to unify its two currencies, the Cuban peso and convertible peso by January 1st, when the measure is to take effect. This will end a unique system that has existed for nearly three decades. Cuban President Miguel Diaz Canel added that the reform announced years ago and repeatedly postponed is intended to make the Cuban economy more accessible to foreign investors as well as place the country in a better condition for needed transformations. The South American island nation is working towards updating its economic model. On sports today, legendary Formula One world champion Lewis Hamilton has finally recovered from his bout with COVID-19. Hamilton missed the penultimate race in Bahrain after testing positive for the deadly virus last week. After completing a mandatory period of self-isolation, the Britain has been given the green signal to race again. Hamilton will make his return at the season-ending Abu Dhabi Grand Prix after a successful recovery from coronavirus. Remember, coronavirus is real. Ensure you wash your hands regularly, use alcohol-based hand sanitizers, wear your masks besides maintaining social distancing. And that's it for 84 TV Radio News updates coming to you from Abuja, Nigeria's capital. You can join the conversation on our website at www.84tvradio.com. Please follow us on our social media platforms at 84TV Radio on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel at 84TV Radio as well. Many thanks for watching. I am Jessica Ochai.